I was in a meeting years ago when Salvo Amwako used to do Orion Cinema. I went to preach for him. And one day I heard Salifu, Archbishop elect Salifu, make a comment. He said, uh, I just felt like asking, what makes you different the way you are? I looked at Zaira and said, I think it's because I live in the north. I come from the north, Bogatanga. I come from Damotinong, 40 miles away from Bogatanga. And I grew up, up to 12 years, I was in the south. Then I went to the north, and from age 12, I've been in Boga up till today. So I've actually been in Boga for about, let me say, 50, 52 years, there about. Now, she said, is that all? I said, yes. She said, how? I said, you know, I grew up at, from age 12. I'm walking around the Sabo Zongo in Bogatanga. And everybody knows me and I know everybody. And I'm still meeting all those old places where I used to be. Huh? All those places. So it is impossible for me to forget where I'm coming from. Exactly. It's impossible. You see, I'm not used to this. Last year, I didn't come because I said the crowd is too big. This is too much for me. Yeah, hey, me, baby. It's too nice and too fine. Wow. Well, young pastors there is a state there, there, there was a time i was in a meeting years ago when salvo amwako used to do orion cinema i went to preach for him and one day i heard salifu archbishop elect salifu make a comment he said we are carrying you people on our feet i've never forgotten that word i've never forgotten that word we are carrying you on our feet and I looked at the people they were bringing to Orion Cinema at that time. Some were crooked. Some were blind. Some were deaf. They were coming from all over Ghana. When you get to Orion Cinema, it's like a market. And all these people they are bringing, all of them are saying, today I want the prophet to touch you. So the prophet is saying, we are carrying you on our faith because many of them come in there don't have any faith on their own. Oh, charismatics, Pentecostals, or even today's Christians, we can't handle death at all. When it knocks on our doors, we are devastated. Goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life, and even at the time when you are dying or somebody is dead, Jesus Christ, the resurrection and the life, whosoever believeth in him will not die, and whosoever liveth and believeth in him, though he was dead, whosoever liveth, believeth in him shall never die. And whosoever believeth in him, though he was dead, yet shall he live. I pray. I'm talking about glorifying God, even in the way you die. And I'm talking about my daughter asking me, so why are you like this? I said, I think it's because I'm in Boga. So, my way of thinking is not very sophisticated. I remember one day I was going to hold a meeting with someone who is a pastor and the Lord told me don't go I was getting ready to fly and go and meet the person the Lord told me don't go 
And I told my wife, I said, Pearl, I'm not going. She said, why? I said, the Lord said I shouldn't go because my mind is too childlike to engage in. He's too intelligent for me. He said, my son, your mind is like the mind of a child. If you sit with him in a meeting, anything you say, he will use it against you. So you cannot hold the meeting. And the Lord said, you can't go. He is evil. That's what he told me. He is evil. You cannot meet him. Because you see, in your childlike nature, you will say things and you don't mean anything. But this guy will archive everything you are saying. But today I speak to you not as a man of God but as a child of God that remember that one day you will leave the world I've talked about the repentance I've talked about the mercy I've talked about God's grace I've talked about his ability to forgive you but remember that the forgiveness and the mercy and everything will expire the day you are leaving the earth what is going to be your account Peter after experiencing all the mercy all the goodness all the forgiveness all the getting behind me Satan he recovers on the last day he spent on earth he didn't make a mistake he did not deny his master he said crucify me but this time around not even like my master turn me upside down listen to me he lived well and he died well Oh, you know when the Presbyterians when the Presbyterians sing a certain song we say they are unbelievers charismatics have crucified so many songs and they should go back and resurrect them Continue. Yeah. 